There have been many changes to my hometown. Some of them have been good, some of them have been uh, a little short of dreadful. But one thing that has never changed is the fact that on this site there has never been a decent memorial to the men who died here. We're gathered here today around about a tree. Now don't get me wrong, I like trees, it's a nice tree. But surely these men are worth a hell of a lot more than just a tree. I'm happy to say, and we've talked about it for the past few commemorations, we're getting a statue raised here. And uh, I'm happy to say that we've now got the legal, lengthy legal sort of niceties concluded. And we can now go forward with fundraising and actually raising a statue on this site to Wallace and to Murray, who stood side by side and gained Scotland's greatest victory here. We have set up the Guardians of Scotland's Trust. It's a legal charitable trust. We now have a bank account. Anybody who wants to donate can do so. The bank account is open. You can either send your donations to the Guardians of Scotland Trust, Care of Stirling Council, or indeed to the man who I'm going to invite to speak next, who is the, the secretary, sorry, the treasurer of the trust. And he's from the Demari Project. Could you welcome, please, John Robertson? Thank you, Ted. Um, good evening. It's great to see so many friends and patriots here tonight. I bring greetings from the Andrew de Murray Project in the North. Our convener, Rob Gibson, MSP, and Charlie Beatty, our organiser, are unable to be here this year. So it's my privilege to represent the Andrew de Murray Project at this year's commemoration of the Battle of Stirling Bridge. In 2014, it will be 100 years since the first publication of Evan MacLeod Barron's groundbreaking book, The Scottish Wars of Independence. This publication showed for the first time what a key role Andrew de Murray played in protecting Scotland's hard-fought freedom. When he marched south, having destroyed many English garrisons in the north to join forces with William Wallace, the invading English army soon realised what Scottish metal was. The Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297, fought very close to where we're standing today, was enormously significant in cementing Scotland's freedom. Unfortunately, Andrew de Murray was mortally wounded in the battle and died just a few weeks later, but in the knowledge that the occupying English army had been vanquished. Many of you will be surprised to know that there is not one single statue anywhere in Scotland to commemorate Andrew de Murray. I was therefore delighted to learn that Stirling Council had contributed £10,000 to a fund administered by the Guardian's Trust, as Ted had mentioned, to attract donations to enable a joint statue of Wallace and Murray to be erected right here at the scene of one of our greatest victories in Scotland's fight for freedom. We owe a debt of gratitude to Ted Christopher, who was instrumental in the initiation of this fund. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing this statue go up, certainly before our referendum in 2014. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Highland Council will take a leaf from Stirling Council's book and I'm pleased to advise that the Andrew de Murray project has now commenced discussions with Highland Council with a view to them contributing seed funding to initiate a fund for a statue in the Black Isle. These are exciting times we live in. We are here to commemorate a famous battle and two of Scotland's greatest heroes, William Wallace and Andrew de Murray. Both these men gave their lives striving for Scottish independence. I'm sure we can all think of many who have worked tirelessly in many ways for that independence in recent times that didn't live to see it. We no longer have to give our lives to achieve freedom, but we still have to renew our efforts. We must persuade Every one of us must persuade, reassure and convince our countrymen and women to win the greatest prize, independence for our country. So let's do it for Wallace, let's do it for Murray and let's do it for Scotland. Thank you. Yeah.